Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of IELTS essay discussion. In this tutorial, we'll focus especially on generating ideas for your IELTS writing task 2 questions. These questions that I'll be using and generating ideas for have come recently, especially in the last few months in the IELTS exam. What I'll do in this episode is to look at those questions that are most likely to come and also find a wide range of ways in which we can answer these questions. So let's dive right into it. The first topic that we are going to discuss is many people believe that it's better to learn something in a group rather than individually. Do you agree or disagree? Right. I'm going to agree in my first paragraph. That's what I would normally do in this kind of essay. Um, it's mostly because I think this essay, if you write from a group perspective, would give you more ideas because there are so many advantages. Learning in a group has many advantages. We can have elements of teamwork. You can utilize each person's skills. So if one person is a good designer and the other person is a good programmer, then it's going to be more powerful than a team of just programmers, for example. Now, if you disagree, if you go for individualism, and this is my next paragraph, um, I'm going to say that individualism is better. You can be self-reliant. It's a good topic specific vocabulary there. You can be self-reliant, which means you only depend on yourself, and this would probably make the project maybe a little bit more efficient. You know, in some group projects, you have to wait for the designer to finish, then you have to wait for the marketing person to finish, or you have to wait for the researcher to finish. And if you're self-reliant, you own the result. You are not dependent on others. Another point, which I feel is more mature, more responsible, because you are responsible now for the whole project, the whole task. Another reason why individualism is better or working individually is that there are no laggards. Laggards mean like the slow people in the group. You don't want for them. Okay. Um, so maybe I won't include every single point I've discussed here. The thing is what I'm doing now is just generating ideas and some of these ideas I will throw away and I won't use. Some of the ideas I want to use because maybe they come with a good collocation that I know. For example, I'm definitely going to use self-reliant and I want to use the word laggards as well because it's quite, it's not very common. And it will show the examiner that I have got an extensive range of vocabulary. Also, I'm going to use the self-reliant argument. I'm not dependent on others because... I can give a very easy to understand example just like the one that I did. I don't have to be waiting for the designer. I don't have to be waiting for the researcher. Then in the conclusion what I'll do is probably just give my personal preference and my personal preference in all honesty is that I work much better as an individual. If you ever see me playing football you can see that it's immediately clear because I have no sense of teamwork whatsoever. And I'm just running around on my own. So that's why, yes. But obviously, I'm not going to include that in my conclusion. I'm going to just make it as formal as possible. Let's move on to the next topic. Let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is... Some people think that men are naturally more competitive than women. To what extent do you agree? Hmm. That's an interesting topic, isn't it? Um, all right. So this is a very sensitive topic as well. You really want to be kind of maybe even just filter and double check what you're saying isn't sexist or isn't going to offend anybody. Um, so first of all, how do we start this? Well, we're going to make a plan for two paragraphs for the two paragraphs that we're going to include. By the way, you might have noticed that I'm kind of skipping over the introduction and I'm kind of skipping over the conclusion as well. That's on purpose because once you get your ideas for the body paragraph and once you've got your body paragraph sorted out, then you can start thinking about how you're going to write your introduction and how you're going to finish. 
also as everybody knows that the bulk of the points are body paragraphs that's where we want to be focusing the bulk of our attention that's where most of our focus should be going let's move on so i'm going to assign ideas to each paragraph men are more competitive than women do you agree or disagree to what extent do you agree or disagree so um, i'm just going to say i fully agree with this one paragraph one men are competitive look at um, and these are my arguments of course i've got to back up my arguments with or back up my claims with evidence so one men are more competitive i mean you can notice in almost every single field or industry that you can do research on that's my claim i'm going to back it up with evidence let's um, look at the sporting fans globally most of them are male an additional point if you look at sports historically only men have participated in formula one boxing mma this is typically male dominated sports final point the scientists have shown that men's psychological drivers include dominance control and competition so and then i would leave it because i'm not going to go into i don't want to go to that topic much farther i could even possibly just forget the last point because my argument so far is just based on facts and i'm going to qualify those facts later in the next paragraph i'm going to say once again in my next paragraph um oh sorry the reason why i'm going to possibly leave psychological of uh, of drivers is because it could sound sexist and i don't want to offend anyone and i'm not 100 percent certain whether my other arguments it's clear as day that only men participate historically 90 percent of participants in all the sporting events all the sporting events that i mentioned um have been men but i'm going to qualify it later and see you you'll see why so moving on to the next paragraph men are more competitive and this is in my notes i'm just going to write it men are more competitive just to refresh and just to keep it present in my mind what i'm writing about i'm going to acknowledge as well the fact that it might sound sexist and that and then i'm going to go on and just basically say it seems like this that men are more competitive whether it is nature or nurture it's difficult to say however whatever the factor is it's clear today in the 21st century or whatever 21st century that most sports are male dominated and it's basically making more men enter these sports okay so this is really difficult and it just comes down to nature or nurture in fact what i could even do is just put it down to nature or nurture the examiner would understand that argument instantly hopefully you do well if you don't but it's going to be too much to get into the nature or nature, nurture argument and I'll just leave it at that, okay? Because you could see me struggling when I was trying to explain. Um, by the way, nature or nurture? Was the person born like that or did the society influence them to grow up like that? That's the basic argument. But if I include or explain what nature or nurture means in the essay, I'm going way off topic. So I'm going to mention that point and I'm, I'm done. Also, it sounds very natural. Conclusion? Um, I very much agree as you've probably heard and we don't know okay so the question says are men naturally more competitive so yes I agree that men are more competitive whether it's natural or whether it's thanks to society it's beyond this now let's see how could I say that whether it's um, I don't want to say nature and nurture again so I'm going to say whether it's due to society or genetics beautiful there if I do so um whether it's society or genetics it's difficult to say but the fact of the matter is that in 2019 it is clear that men appear to be more competitive notice as well i did put the appear to be more competitive because there i'm um, just myself some wiggle room some room to wiggle and more academically known as hedging by the way the hedging is also another module that we go into the course and it just helps students or advises students against making sweeping generalizations which are not academic at all moving on to question three by the way these are all very common topics in society at the moment we're talking about men being more competitive this is very much linked to the issue of those transgender women participating in competitions sorry transgender men participating in women's athletics competition about that south african athlete who's got high level of 
testosterone and yes if i had gone into those topics what i just mentioned in that essay i would have opening a, a whole can of worms it just goes on and on and on and is endless and i'm not that knowledgeable about it so i'm just going to keep it at the basic to see um what happens f1 boxing mma etc men's football so what i wanted to say is that most of the points um, sorry most of the questions and the next question these are all sorts of ongoing topic in the media at the moment so we are talking about uh, men and women in competition in athletics we are talking about individual teamwork we are talking about social media mobile phones these are all topics that are going on in the society at the moment we are talking the next questions we are going to be talking about mobile phone social media we are going to be talking about weddings um and so on now if you don't know anything about these topics it's really important to start spending a good 10 minutes a day browsing bbc.com and i think bbc is the best place to start because it's got an overview and it just tells you the right amount of information that you need the guardian as well the guardian is a newspaper as well it gives you a good outlook on national news as well as the sources of information from where you can go into the details just spend a few minutes in each different topic um such as sports technology business global politics and you'll start generating you'll start filling your head with new information and ideas that you can use in the essays all right